today we are um, working with Texas Parks and Wildlife to stock 6,000 grass carp in Lake Austin. <laughs> Smile! Hydrilla was first discovered in the lake in 1999 by Texas Parks and Wildlife. Um, the lake historically has had another invasive plant, Eurasian water milfoil has been in the lake for a long, long time, but it's not as problematic as hydrilla. The last survey that Parks and Wildlife did in October showed over 500 acres of hydrilla, which is really pl problematic. That's a historic high for this lake. Unfortunately, warmer temperatures actually help hydrilla because hydrilla is a warm water plant. What we're seeing here is a result of this ongoing drought in Central Texas. And the concern is that this drought is not over and that the warmer temperatures are probably going to continue on Lake Austin for at least the next few years. Um, and that's why we're working with Parks and Wildlife and the other partners to get a larger number of fish in the lake to be able to try and get ahead of that hydrilla growth. You came from uh, Arkansas. Uh, it takes about nine hours to get down. The fish come from a special hatchery in Arkansas. They're what we call triploid, which means they have three sets of chromosomes instead of two. Basically, the short answer is they're sterile. They cannot reproduce. They cannot produce um, any kind of viable egg and sperm that could create other baby grass carp. Once they've equalized the temperature and the chemistry in the water, then they will be actually piping the fish. You will take them all. Five minutes, and they will all be gone. From these tanks. You just gonna turn it off on the other side and drag it over there? Into Lake Austin. It's kind of an amazing sight when you see how fast the fish will basically shoot out of these tanks and hit the water. They'll school around a little bit in the water and kind of get their bearings, and then within 10 or 15 minutes, they'll all be swimming away down the lake. There, that's a good shot. I hope they get out there and do some good. Without some sort of check on the hydrilla, um, this 500 acres could continue to grow and spread and continue to limit the things that like Austin has been, is, has been used for and is so important to the Austin community.